Hello, friends. I am so happy to be back in my home studio uh, with all of you, and I'm excited to share this practice with you because how we start the morning really matters. It matters for our physical health, it matters for our emotional well-being, and it matters for our peace of mind. And this short, sweet little practice can help you in all of those ways as you make your way out into this interesting world that we're living in. We all need a morning movement and breath practice like this, and I'm so happy to share this one with you. Before we begin, if you enjoy my classes, then please click the subscribe button and please check out my Patreon site. The link is below in the video description. Patreon helps support me making these videos and it gets you access to monthly live stream events, uh, full one hour classes, book club, and other fun community things that we're going to be doing in the near future. It's a really great loving community. If you're already a member, thank Thank you so very much and if not I invite you to check it out uh, today is a flow practice so if you have any props that help assist you blocks blankets cushions by all means use them but nothing is required so we're gonna start today in a nice easy comfortable seat with a calming breath practice that I'll call three-part breath. It's a really powerful way to uh, calm the central nervous system, relax your mind, and stimulate the immune system, making your body more resilient. And we all need that today, right? So it's really simple. We're just gonna breathe in through the nose for a nice slow count of four, breathing into the belly first, and then letting the breath rise up into the chest. We'll hold at the, top, at the top for a count of two, and then we'll just let the breath exhale, a nice slow count of four, relaxing everything as we do, okay? All right, I'll guide you through that whole thing, but for now, just close your eyes, find a nice comfy seat, hands wherever they feel comfortable, and let's take a big breath in through the nose. Open mouth, exhale. Relax the shoulders. And one more time, breath in through the nose. Let the shoulders rise up toward the ears. Open mouth, exhale. Shoulders melt, body soft. Come back to a normal breath in and out through your nose. Just relax into each exhale. Continue to re relax, but sit up nice and tall. So imagine the crown of your head lifting up toward the sky, but the shoulders melting away from the ears. Relax into your brow. Relax your eyes and the cheeks. Relax your tongue and your jaw. Feel all the muscles of your face soft, relax, letting go of tension. And now let's move into our three-part breath. So we'll breathe slowly in through the nose, breathing into the belly first, and then letting the breath rise up into the chest. Hold at the top for a count of two, and then we'll exhale slowly for a count of four, relaxing as we go. Okay, to begin, let's take a big breath in through the nose. Open mouth, exhale, just to clear. And inhale through the nose, draw the breath into the belly first, and then let the breath rise up into the chest. Hold at the top, two, one. Exhale through the nose, relax, three, two, one. Inhale through the nose, into the belly, then rising into the chest. Hold at the top. 
and exhale through the nose nice and slow. Inhale through your nose, continue just like this with your own pace at your own count. And just allow yourself to relax more and more into each breath. As you breathe in, the breath fills the belly first and then it rises up into the chest, nice and easy and relaxed, holding at the top briefly. And then exhale through the nose and let the whole body relax as you exhale. Imagine any tension, any tightness, any stress melting into the breath, dissolving from the body into the breath. On your next inhale, hold at the top for a full count of four. And open mouth, exhale. Let the shoulders fall away from the ears. Sit tall. And let's just sit here for a few moments. Welcome yourself fully to this moment. Slowly blink your eyes open. All right, let's wake up the body's internal revitalizing and healing energy with some energization tapping. This is so good to do in the morning. Cup your right hand and just start to cup and tap on the left collarbone. And then underneath the collarbone to the left chest working your way up to the left shoulder, all over the shoulder. Just feel that tingling energization effervescent <laughs> moving through the body and then down the left arm and turn the arm over you want to get both sides get the palm and turn the hand over and then come up the other arm forearm bicep turning the arm over tap the palm and then come up to the shoulder this all over Just feel that waking up the collarbone on the right side and the right chest. And now cup both hands and just kind of cup down the chest to the belly. Get your belly button. <laughs> Get around to the sides, around to the low back. And then down to your butt, the outsides of the hips and the thighs, coming down the thighs now. We're giving ourselves a massage all the way down to the cellular level. Feel that energy moving now both sides of the foot and the toes kind of get the fingers going on the toes there all over oh man this feels good okay coming back up now make two fists and drum on the chest and hum close your eyes and hum mm, you can make some tarzan sounds if you want <laughs> and a big breath reach your hands up to the sky open mouth exhale bend the elbows push the heart to the sky gently squeeze the shoulder blades <sighs> nice hands to the knees and let's take some big circles with the spine just let your upper body be soft and flowy like water no real um, right way to do this, okay? So just listen to your body. Let the head roll around if it wants to. Move faster, move slower. Really let your body do what it's wanting to do. So let the body lead. And the mind just takes a back seat here. Other way. It's a great way to open and lubricate the hips and the low back. Let's make some little cat cow shapes in the upper back. So as you come back round through the spine and exhale, as you come forward, push the heart forward and inhale. 
then sit up nice and tall. Once again, sweep the hands up to the sky, open the fingers, bend the elbows, and squeeze the shoulder blades behind. Nice, all right. Sweep the legs around in front of you. Extend both legs long. Let's do a little seated forward fold here. So root the sit bones as you inhale. Sweep the hands up to the sky. And as you exhale, a nice slow and gentle fold forward. So we're just taking the fold down until we feel a little sensation in the backs of the hamstrings. No more, right? We don't wanna push it. So you may stay right up here, that's great, or you may find your way all the way down. Breath by breath, just continue to melt over the legs. And each inhale, lengthen. So lift the heart, lift the crown of the head, get long through the spine. And each exhale, fold a little bit more. So avoid rounding too much through the upper back. Then once you're to the place where you're going to rest, then you can let the upper back round a little bit. As you inhale, rise up. Little counter stretch here, alter pose. Bend the knees, hands and feet come down. Press and lift the hips. Let your head fall back. Take a great big breath in. Open mouth, exhale. <sighs> Lower your sit bones and sweep the legs around behind you, finding tabletop, wrists under, shoulders, knees under hips. Curl the toes under and lift your hips for downward dog. Take a few breaths here as you pedal your feet, bend one knee, draw the opposite heel down to the earth and feel the back lines of the legs stretching, lengthening from your butt all the way down the hamstrings, the calves to the heels. So good. Coming to stillness now, let's take a find a nice strong downward dog shape. So wrap the elbows in, push a little bit more into the index fingers and thumbs, broaden across the upper back and feel the armpits hollow a little. Draw the navel in, lift the tailbone to the sky and let your thigh bones press toward the back wall as the heels push toward the earth. Great big breath in. Open mouth, exhale. So as we move through the flow portion of practice, the most important thing to remember is have fun. If you get lost, if you fall over, laugh, invite an attitude of play and curiosity and just have fun with it. Don't worry about being perfect. Don't worry about doing everything right. There's plenty of time to come back and hone in on the details. Just have fun with this if this is your first go around with this practice. Okay, feet together. Take your right heel up to the sky, three leg dog. Bend the right knee and let that right foot fall toward the earth behind you, opening the hips, getting a nice stretch through the right side of the body. And then slowly bring that right knee forward to touch the top of the right tricep. Wrap the elbows in. Make contact if you can, touch, and then take the right foot back up to the sky, three-leg dog. Exhale, draw that right knee in toward the nose, squeeze it in, and step through right foot between the hands. If you have to step several times to get up there, that's okay. Lift the heart off the front thigh, wing your arms back, and as you inhale, take your hands up to the sky for a nice strong crescent lunge. So that back leg is strong and straight, deep bend in the front knee. As you exhale, twist open to the right. Reach the right hand back and keep twisting until the chest is facing off the right side of the mat. Inhale, turn back to face the front. Palms come together at your heart. Bring more weight to the front foot and we're gonna glide forward into warrior three. So softly glide forward, lift the left heel, dip the left hip and straighten that right leg. Breathe. Again, if you fall over here, no big deal. Just play with it. Long spine, lift the heart and the crown of the head forward. Now staying balanced on the right foot, we rise up slowly into one leg mountain. Lift the left knee, hands to the sky. If you step down there, again, it's okay, right? Extend that left leg, point the toes, hold and breathe and then float the, right, or the left foot all the way back into a nice deep crescent lunge once again. 
Spin the back heel down and open the arms into warrior two. So toe heel the front foot a little to the right here. So the front heel and the back arch are aligned and roll to the outside edge of the back foot. So the pinky toe side of the left foot sealed to the mat, inner arch lifts a little bit. And now extend from that inner front thigh through the inner front knee. So the knee is pointing straight ahead. Nice deep bend in that knee, okay? Relax the shoulders and breathe. As you inhale, straighten the front leg, turn all 10 toes to face off the left side of the mat, reach into the sky, exhale. Let's take a bow here, wide leg forward fold. Hands come to the mat, shoulder distant apart. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, fold slowly. Now you can keep the hands on the ground, walk the fingers in line with the toes, or you can grab the outside of the heels and ankles to deepen. Let gravity draw the crown of the head toward the earth, and you can pull the heart back toward the thighs to deepen a little bit. Rock forward so the weight of the body is in the balls of the feet and the hips stack over the ankles. Inhale, halfway lift. Turn over the left shoulder, walk your hands around to frame the left foot. So low lunge facing the back of the mat. Deep bend in the left knee up on the ball of the right foot. So you're facing the back of the mat. Maybe you can't see me, but you can hear me. So just listen to the cues, follow along as best you can and have fun. Step the front foot back and up to the sky. Three leg dog, bend the left knee and let that left foot kind of draw down toward the earth a couple inches, opening up the hips, feeling the stretch on the left side, just like we did on the right in the beginning, and slowly draw that left knee forward to touch the top of the left tricep, wrap the elbows in, touch and make contact, and now sweep the left knee across the front of the body and touch the right elbow, make contact. Extend the left leg long for fallen triangle. So the left leg is extended out to the side, resting on the ground on the pinky toe edge side. Sweep the right hand up to the sky, roll to the inside edge of the right foot and push into the earth with that left hand, pushing through the heart. Sweep the right hand behind you and let your gaze follow those right fingertips. As you reach behind you, opening up the heart, really push into that left hand. Continue to arch the upper back, open the heart. Fall in triangle. As you exhale, slowly lower your butt, coming to a seat facing the front of the mat. So feet together, hip distance apart, and make your way to your back. We're going to work on the, the ab muscles here, everyone's favorite. So important to pay attention to some core strengthening, some core work. So leg lifts, my friends, hands along your side, the palm facing down, and take your feet straight up to the sky. Feet are, actually you can flex your feet or point your toes, it doesn't matter, whichever feels better to you. I like my toes pointed. And now we're gonna lower the legs about a third of the way, right? Feel the ab muscles engaging. Let your sacrum and low back push into the mat and just breathe into the sensations. Now lower about another third of the way and you're gonna feel the weight of the legs really engaging the core. Breathe, breathe, don't stop breathing. And now lower the legs until the heels just hover above the mat. Now your body might start shaking here. That's okay, breathe. We're all in this together, folks, for three, two, one. Draw knees into the chest. Little gentle rock side to side. Yes, your core muscles are happy. They're alive. And your core is really what stabilizes your spine. So really, really important. Okay, one more time. Arms along your sides. Take your feet up to the sky. This time, I'm going to lower the legs about halfway, 45 degree angle. And then reach the hands up toward the toes. Lift your shoulders and your head off the mat and just take some little tiny crunches 
letting the movement come from the ab muscles. So we're reaching, we're only moving about an inch, reaching the hands toward the toes, crunching the abs for five, four, three, two, one, and one, reach and hold, breathe, stay with me. Nice, knees into the chest, rock side to side, awesome, awesome job. Either rock yourself or push yourself up to a seat. Sweep the legs around behind you. Tabletop, wrists under shoulders, knees under hips, and curl your toes. Lift your hips, downward dog. Let's take a few breaths here. Pedal the feet. Get reacquainted with your downward dog. And let's do that whole little dance on the other side, shall we? Feet together. Take your left heel up to the sky nice and high. Bend the left knee, stack the hips, and let that left foot feel heavy gravity pulling it towards the earth as you deepen the stretch in your left side. Slowly bring the left knee to the top of the left tricep, touch, wrap the elbows in. Inhale, take the left foot back up to the sky, three-leg dog. Exhale, left knee into the nose, squeeze it in, and this time step through between your hands, Low lunge, lift the heart off the front thigh. Back leg is strong and straight, wing your arms back. As you inhale, take your hands to the sky. Nice deep crescent lunge, feel it in the front thigh, oh yeah. Exhale, we twist open nice and slow to the left. Reach the left hand back, keep twisting, keep twisting. Nice. Inhale, turn back to face the front. Palms come to the heart. And from here, warrior three. So bring a little bit more weight to that front foot and glide forward into warrior three. If you have to step a few times to find this shape, that's okay. No problem. Lift the right heel, but dip the right hip so the hips and the chest are facing the earth. And then reach the crown of the head toward the front wall. Long spine. Staying balanced on that left foot, we rise up into one leg mountain. Hands to the sky, lift the left knee, ex or right knee, I'm sorry. Extend that right leg, point the toes, hold the hips nice and steady, breathe, and float the right foot all the way back into a deep, strong crescent lunge. Again, if you have to step five times to get back to this shape or more, it's okay, right? Play with this. Spin the back heel down, open the arms into warrior two. Toe heel the front foot a little to the left. Front heel and back arch are aligned. Roll to the outside edge of the back foot, lifting the inner arch. And then get a nice deep bend in that front knee, making sure the knee is pointing straight over that middle toe. Relax the shoulders, breathe. Feel the earth energy beneath your feet. Inhale, straighten the front leg, turn all 10 toes to face off the right side of the mat, reach into the sky, star pose, and exhale, take a nice big swan dive. Fold, hands come to the mat. Halfway lift. So now from here, you could keep your hands on the ground, you could grab the ankles, or you could interlace the hands behind the low back, draw the knuckles down and away. And as you exhale, fold, opening up the shoulders along with the hamstrings here. So your choice, whatever feels good for your hand position. Again, rock the weight forward a little bit into the balls of the feet so the hips are stacked over the ankles. And if you have the fingers clasped, just let Gravity, pull the hands toward the earth, opening the shoulders, and breathe. So good, We're opening, lengthening, stretching, revitalizing the body. Release the bind of the hands. If you have that, come up to a halfway lift, hands to the mat. Turn over your right shoulder and walk your hands around to the right. Bend into the right knee, low lunge, facing the back of the mat. Step your front foot back and up to the sky, three-leg dog. Bend the right knee, stack your hips wide open and feel gravity pulling 
the right foot down, deepen the stretch into the right hip, the right side body, and slowly sweep the right knee forward to touch the top of the right tricep, make contact. Sweep the right knee across the body to touch the left elbow, make contact, and then extend that right leg out to the side for fallen triangle. So the right foot is on the ground off the left side of the mat. Push into the earth with the right hand. Sweep the left hand up to the sky. Lift your hips. Fall in triangle. And now keep pushing into that right hand to push through the heart as you sweep your left hand behind you. Open the upper back. Open the heart. Gaze toward the left fingertips. Breathe. This is so good. Exhale. Slowly lower your butt and come to a seat facing the front of the mat. Feet together, hip distant apart. Guess where we're going? <laughs> to our backs to uh, play with some ab work once again. So again, just have fun with it. Breathe, let the body shake and do whatever it's gonna do. You're just breathing and letting the core do its thing. Okay, hands next to your sides. Take your feet up to the sky. Point or flex the feet and lower your feet a third of the way. Notice, breathe into the sensation. So notice where you feel this, that whole band of muscle that comes across the tummy into the sides and low back. And now lower the legs another third of the way. Again, breathe into the belly, into the core. Relax the face and the jaw. And now legs Lower it just a little bit more. Hover the feet. Stay with it. Maybe tap your tummy. Breathe. Anything to just stay with it. Exhale. Knees into chest. Let's take a little rock side to side here. Okay, arms along your sides. Feet up in the air. And now we're going to lower the legs about halfway, 45 degrees. Lift the head and the shoulders. Reach toward the toes. And we're going to crunch little pulsing motions up toward the toes for 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, crunching from the abs, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, hold and reach, feel the abs working, yeah, draw knees into the chest and roll side to side. Beautiful work. Rock or push yourself up to a seat. Sweep the legs around behind you. Tabletop and then sink your hips back to your heels for child's pose. Knees wide on the mat, big toes touch. Really get a big stretch, a big reach through the fingertips and the arms. And as you exhale, let the forehead come down to the mat. Let each exhale help you relax and melt into the earth. Just take a few moments here to allow yourself a moment of gratitude. Find something sweet, a little joyful part of life that you appreciate and let that gratitude wash through you. It's so easy to focus on the negative. We're surrounded by it. There's also a lot to be grateful for. The sky, the sun, the trees, the birds. <laughs> the fact that we're in this practice together, breathing, feeling, moving together. Sit back to your heels and sweep your legs around in front. Let's take a great big wide leg seat. Root the sit bones. I like to wiggle a little bit to ground and then inhale, reach your hands to the sky. Exhale, reaching to keep length in the spine as you fold. Fold nice and slow. Every inhale, we lift and lengthen. And every exhale, we melt and deepen. Continue that little dance. Lifting and lengthening on the inhale, deepening on the exhale until you find your fullest expression. And just stay there 
relax, enjoy this, the peace of this moment. Inhale, slowly rise. Bring your feet together and come to your back. Draw both knees into your chest. And give yourself a sweet, honest hug. A little rock side to side. Close your eyes. And then we'll end with some happy baby. So grab the outside edges of your feet. Allow your feet to open as wide as they wish. And then gently pull down on the feet, letting the knees angle in toward the armpits. Feel your sacrum and low back drawing down toward the mat. And we'll come back to a little rock, side to side. Breathe, eyes close. Welcoming all the sweet possibilities for this day. Welcome yourself just as you are. The miracle of who you are. Great big breath in. Open mouth, exhale. Release the feet and melt into Shavasana. Begin to bring some movement into your fingers and your toes, your wrists and ankles. With a great big breath, reach your hands overhead. Stretch from fingertips to toes. Feel your whole being waking up to a new beginning. Exhale, knees into chest. Roll to your right side and push yourself up to a seat the top of your mat. Close your eyes. Bring palms together at your heart. And let's raise our thumb knuckles to the point between our brow and we bow to one another in light and love. Namaste. Wishing you all a beautiful day. Know that you are appreciated. I'm so grateful for each and every one of you. I love you, and uh, I look forward to seeing you soon. Thanks.